Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday, October 28th. Today, is Millie is three months old. She was born July 28th, um, and our three oldest girls are at school, and then little kids, Josh and myself, are out. So y'all know that when it rains, usually Josh is off, um, unless there's something he can do in the rain. So he's off today, but we're stopped here. He has to look at a job real quick. Once we leave here, we are headed out. We are going to a Best Buy that is about an hour from our house, because, okay, y'all. So I'm gonna give you a little backstory. In 2013, I started a very small little photography business. I mean like a very small business. So anyway, it was a very small photography business, okay? So I done that um, off and on for about two years. So Bethany was born in 2015. She was my sixth baby. After that, I really didn't take pictures, didn't have the time, six kids, obviously. Um, so I didn't do any more photography. 2016 is when I kind of got into vlogging. I wasn't consistent with vlogging, but I did get into it. And, you know, was doing it here and there. I finally got consistent with vlogging in, was it last year? 2020? I think so. Anyway, long story short, um, I've always been into some kind of photography or videos, things like that. <laughs> Millie started crying, so I don't remember where I was at. But anyway, so since I started doing photography videos, things like that, there has been a camera that I have always wanted y'all. So the store closest to us actually don't have any in stock. So I called the next one closest, which is an hour away from us. They said they had less than five in stock and we have been able to save for it. I'm finally going to be able to get it, which I am extremely grateful for. I'm super excited. Um, we do have to be back, of course, before three because the girls get out of school at three. So the little ones, Josh and myself, are going there. I'm extremely excited to go kind of up my game with some photography pictures, which I'm not getting back into photography business. Let me make that clear. This will be just solely for my purpose, my use, my YouTube channel, things like that. So anyway. That's where we're going today. Also, if y'all can't tell, it's really cold today. I have on not just a long sleeve shirt, but a thicker like sweatshirt. It's so comfy, y'all. This is one of those like oversized sweatshirts. That's what I have on today. And we're gonna leave as soon as Josh gets done looking at this job. Millie, you glad to be back home? Sure you ready to talk with Daddy? The TV's so loud, can't hear anyone. <laughs> huh? The girls are watching some Charlie Brown. Say Charlie Brown? Okay, so we are home now. I'm going to make myself some hot coffee because it is a cold, rainy day. That's why we came straight in the girls. So let's watch Charlie Brown. That's like one of our things every year around this time. We watch all the Charlie Browns, Thanksgiving, Christmas Charlie Brown. So they're watching a Charlie Brown. I'm gonna make myself some hot coffee with my caramel drizzle K-cup and a peppermint mocha creamer. I was going down the road thinking, when I get home, I'm gonna make myself some coffee with peppermint creamer. That sounds so good. So that's what I'm gonna make right now. No iced coffee today, it's a cold day. So here's what I'm using, it's just the Coffee Mate. Uh, pepper, there's the name. Peppermint Mocha Creamer. This is so good. I use it every year. This and Sugar Cookie and Pumpkin are my top three favorites. Josh just left. He has to run by the grocery store and then to go pick the girls up from school. I guess it would help if I took the top off, you know, so I could pour it out and all. <laughs> I just bought this a few days ago and I haven't even opened it yet. Oh my goodness, tasting that peppermint makes me even more ready for Christmas. But yeah, I'm glad to be back home. On our way home, it poured down rain. It rained so hard all the way back home. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. So good. But tonight for dinner, Josh and I are cooking together. We're gonna have BLT sandwiches. Um, he bought some corn and squash. So we're gonna have some uh, grilled squash, some grilled corn, BLTs, possibly some fries maybe. I don't know yet. That sounds so good. I'm excited. We haven't cooked together in a while. We used to cook all the time together, but I guess we've just gotten busy and we don't do it quite as much as we used to. So tonight we're gonna cook together. So y'all are probably wondering which camera I got and this is it. I got the Canon 5D Mark IV. This is like a dream camera for me y'all and I'm like, I'm beyond grateful to have it. I'm so grateful. I didn't think it was gonna ever be a possibility because like I said, our budget never allowed before. But I'm thankful we have it now. I have so many ideas for this thing. Kylie Sweet 16 is coming up. I'm gonna take some pictures. I got so many birthdays and Christmas coming up and just fun stuff I get to take pictures of. Also use it with vlogging. So um, when I was in there, the guy was trying to talk me out of this actually, the, the D. 
he said that the R's, which are mirrorless, are better cameras and all this other stuff, and um, that this was kind of a dinosaur, pretty much, because it came out in 2016, which was five years ago. But to me, I mean, if a camera is good quality, it's not going to lose its quality over years. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still going to take really good pictures. So, he wasn't able to persuade me to go with the R. I went with my five instead. So, But I think I'm going to hang out with the girls for a few minutes and watch some Charlie Brown until Josh gets back home with the girls. And then a little while after that, we'll start our cooking. She loves to cuddle up here in the corner of the couch with a sissy. Who are you sitting with right now? Who are you sitting with little Bethany? Uh -huh. I can hear you, darling. Yeah. It's after dinner. BLT, squash, corn, everything was super good. Now I'm gonna make a dessert. I bet y'all can guess what I'm making just by looking at this. And if you don't already know, Bethany just pointed out that they actually have the recipe on the back of this box. I make it every year around this time all the way up till Christmas and I am making Chex Muddy Buddies. Yes, this is one of our favorites. The girls get so excited when I decide I'm gonna make some Chex Muddy Buddies. And what we do is we just lay them all out here and there's never enough to put away for the next day. Everybody eats them like as soon as they come on the wax paper. Like it's so good. We love Chex Muddy Buddies, right? Let's start making them. Everybody's taking turns shaking the bag. We have to shake it to get all the powdered sugar all over it. Ollie's turn to shake the bag. Shake the bag. Oh. You want that one? Are they good? As soon as we got done with those checks, Muddy Buddies, I started cleaning. I got the counter cleaned off, um, swept, and then I started rearranging furniture. Um, so I just moved a couple little pieces. I'm going to show you how I moved it since it's quiet. For a minute, as soon as we got done, the girls had like a Christmas dance off. They had Alexa playing Christmas music while I was cleaning. So they were dancing. So I'm going to show you just a couple things I moved around. I didn't make any like big major changes. This rocking chair that I'm sitting in is one of those though. First of all, look at Everly over there with her baby in her diaper bag. They've been playing babies today, haven't you? Okay, so this big couch remained the same. Um, I moved that little table over there, which was um, on the other wall against the staircase. So I moved that there. The recliner is still in the same spot. The little couch is still in the same spot, but this big white table here, I moved it. It was beside the front door. And if you come all around where I'm sitting, this rocking chair it used to sit in front of the staircase, but now it is right here. But you probably can't see, but over there in that very corner in the dining room, I moved our rolling cart over there, which I need to clean our rolling cart out. It's getting piled up with some stuff. But just a few minor changes. It always makes the house feel a little bit more fresh. Um, that is Millie's swing over there. And last year where that cabinet and everything is, is where we put our Christmas tree. So we're probably gonna have to move all of this here soon so we put a Christmas tree up. But anyway, I'm about to get busy on changing kids into their pajamas and all of that fun stuff for bedtime because it's getting close. Well, it's about seven. So the little ones lay down at eight and then the older girls follow a little bit behind them and then my bigger girls get to stay up. My biggest girls get to step a little bit longer. So we're gonna start our bedtime routine here soon. Do you have Natalie's hair? And are you happy about that? <laughs> Do you have Natalie's hair? <laughs> Can I have her hair? Let me have it. Thank you. Oh goodness, Nat, she's got a handful. There we go, we got it. We got it. We got your hair out of her hand, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. 
You look so pretty in that sparkly shirt. Do you love it? She's wearing, oh, we took the tension off Millie for a minute, didn't we? Yeah. She said, I have something to say. Do you love Millie? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You have a birthday coming up, right? How old? It's, how old? It's first May. Yeah, how old are you gonna be? Four. Four. That's and gonna be four. <laughs> six. And Bethany will be six and... Amy will be seven. Bethany will be six in December. Then Amy is turning seven in November. Mm -hmm.